So I have a future video planned for this. It'll be a deep dive into all that sort of stuff. But for now, we need to talk about what an iNode is. I will show you, um, there's all different concepts of it on different operating systems, but I'll show you the Linux man page for what an iNode is. Okay, so at the heart of it, this is just a data structure that exists um, on the file system itself. Different file systems have a different way of um, storing this data. So how it's actually stored isn't really important. The file system does it differently. The kernel exposes this to the user. The way you can get this information is with the stat syscall, or you can just use the stat command, which will use the stat syscall under the hood. So let's go ahead and look at this documentation. We have file type and mode up here. So mode is important. Mode is what chmod will change. That's like 755, you typically see that. That's permissions. The mode of the file is the permissions. That is one thing that exists in the inode. The chmod command is the way of modifying that thing. There's other information in the inode as well. We have the user ID. This is the user that owns the file. You can change that with chown. We have the group ID. This is the group that owns the file. You can change this with ch group. That's chgrp. You can also use the ch own command. I think you put a colon in front of it and then you're changing the group. Um, that might depend on the uh, version of ch own. But yeah, I would use ch group for this one. Um, we have a whole bunch of other stuff. File size, certain things like this. Number of blocks allocated to this device. That's cool. Here all the way at the bottom. Last, last access time. There's like modified time, access time, and change time. That is what touch can modify. So touch... CH own, CH group, CH mod, there might be more that I'm missing here. These are all different files that will call syscalls that will change the inode on the system. That's what they do. Touch changes the times, CH mod changes the permissions or the mode of the file.